Hey everyone, welcome to Shima Flow Yoga. I'm Jody, and today I wanted to share with you our first video on cooking. So this is another part of our channel. Um, as I mentioned in the very beginning, um, we'll be focusing on yoga, cooking, and wellness. So this video I filmed the other day, just on my own, nothing fancy, as you will see when you watch the video. Um, and it was totally spur of the moment. So I thought, what the heck, I'm just gonna try it and see how it goes. And it was pretty fun, and I got really good feedback when I posted on Facebook, so I decided to share it with everyone here on YouTube. Um, and I just, you know, wanted to show you how easy it is and how delicious it is to eat and to cook vegan. And in this particular recipe, gluten-free as well. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, Shima Flow Yoga, where you will be notified every time we upload new videos. I'm gonna have a lot more cooking videos to come. Like I said, this was just a spur of the moment, last minute spontaneous thing. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and I would love to hear your feedback. So make sure you let me know and comment on this video and what you would like to see from Shima Flow Yoga in the future. All right, so enjoy and I will see you soon. Namaste. What's up Facebook friends? I'm Jody, and today I thought I would try um, to shoot my own video. Um, without anybody else, without any fancy equipment. As some of you guys know, I started a YouTube channel in January called Shima Flow Yoga. And on there, I have uploaded several yoga videos. So if you haven't tried them out, check them out when you get a chance. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. Um, but also on there, I want to include some wellness videos as well as some cooking videos. And I just want to share my favorite vegan recipes because there are so many awesome recipes out there and um, people tend to get intimidated by the word vegan or turned off or people are trying to learn how to eat better and really don't know where to start. And sometimes there's some ingredients in vegan cooking that um, sound completely foreign. So I'm here to share some of that with you. So today I wanted to start with something very simple. Um, and this is called an endurance cracker. This is from Oh She Glows, and she has a blog, a website, a Facebook page. If you haven't checked her out, go check her out. I'm gonna show you how to do this, how easy it is to make this endurance cracker, and it's so flipping good. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Now, in her recipe, she uses freshly grated garlic, which I do not use because A, I don't like grating the garlic, um, and B, I didn't really find it gave a lot of flavor, so, uh, I kind of put in my own stuff, so you can always be creative and put your own flavoring in there. Um, so let's get started. Okay, super, super easy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, this cracker is made just from seeds, okay? So we're gonna use chia seeds. Okay, I got these at Trader Joe's, okay? We're going to use sunflower seeds from Trader Joe's as well. What else do we got here? Some pumpkin seeds or pepitas as well. I got these from Trader Joe's. And then sesame seeds you can get anywhere. If you live in this uh, area in the Midwest where I live, I get them at Woodman's. You can get a, a lot for a very low price, um, which is the best way to go. Okay, so for the seasonings, I'm going to use some um, sea salt, pink sea salt, freshly grated. I'm going to use crushed red pepper. You guys know this is from Costco. Um, garlic salt or garlic powder, garlic powder, not salt. And then my favorite all, this is a must if you're gonna eat vegan, is nutritional yeast, okay? And you can find this at health food stores, Whole Foods. Um, again, if you're out in the Midwest, Woodman's has it. So you just kind of have to do your research, but you'll find it in the nutrition section, usually the supplement section if you go to a health food store. Okay, so this is how easy it is. I'm gonna take a half a cup of the chia seeds and put it in the bowl. Half a cup of sesame seeds, put it in the bowl. Okay, half a cup of sunflower seeds, dump it. Half a cup of pepitas, dump it. I'm gonna take a spatula and I'm just gonna give it a little toss here. Okay, and then from here I'm gonna add some sea salt. So we've got, this calls for a quarter teaspoon, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Okay, 
And then I'm going to add a little garlic powder. So I'm just going to kind of, this is probably going to be, let me just put it in here, yeah, maybe a quarter teaspoon or so of garlic powder. Um, I like spice. Spice is my friend. So for crushed red pepper, let's see, I'm going to do maybe a quarter to a half a teaspoon. Okay, and finally nutritional yeast, yum, yum, yum. Um, I'm just going to kind of pour it in here, but I would say two tablespoons to a quarter cup. And I'm just going to toss all this stuff together. Half a cup of water, okay? Pour it in. And then just start to stir it. You got to kind of, you know, fold it in. Now the chia seeds, as you guys know, you guys ever have a chia pet, you know how that it kind of starts to expand, gets like gelatin. So that's what chia seeds are. It creates a gelatin and the chia seeds are what holds all the seeds in the cracker together. So I'm just going to keep mixing it just like this until it starts to, the water starts to absorb. Okay, I'm going to let it sit here for just a second. So in the meantime, okay, I'm at a static um, camera here, so i got to reach and bend. Okay, you're going to get a cookie sheet, two cookie sheets, okay, and parchment paper. Okay, you're going to line it with parchment paper, not to confuse it with wax paper, okay. Parchment paper just puts a cover over the pan and helps it from sticking um, to the pan, okay. And also it's easier to clean up. Okay. We've got two pans of parchment paper. Let's come back here, give it another stir while that water is absorbing. Actually, I haven't made this in a while, so I'm super excited. Okay. And I mean, you can eat them plain, you can have them with hummus, you can put the, some almond butter on there. There's some good vegan cheeses out there. Um, that are made from nuts that you can get out there, specifically at like Whole Foods. Um, I think one from Miyoko's Kitchen, and or I think I, I can't remember what the other brand is. I'll figure out what the other brand is, but they're awesome, amazing. Okay, this looks like that water's all absorbed, so I'm just gonna move this over. A smaller pan here, and. So you're going to have two, I can divide this into two halves, okay? So I'm going to take half of this mixture and I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the pan. Okay, and we're going to spread it out. And just use your spatula to kind of press it. And you want it about a quarter inch thick. If it's too thick, it doesn't crisp up, and I like it crispy. So on the other hand, if you prefer a little softness to it, then maybe make it a little thicker. I don't know, you know, you can do whatever you want, really. But I like mine crispy and crunchy, so I'm gonna keep putting it out and then kind of shape it up like a rectangle. Just keep pressing down. Sometimes as you press down, you might create some holes in the middle, so just make sure, they're kind of hard to see, so just make sure you get everything covered up. Okay, Maybe a little bit more. Mm. I mean, it smells good already. And like I said, you can put Whatever, you know what I put in here one time? Um, fresh rosemary, it was delicious. So, fresh herbs can go in there if you want, dried herbs can go in there, whatever. You know, if you don't like really spicy with the crushed red pepper, but you like a little kick, then black pepper, right? Okay, I think this looks pretty good. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this, the oven is preheated to 300, okay? So, I'm gonna take this, you see me? Put it in the oven, put it right on the bottom. And let me see how long this takes. I think this is gonna take, uh, give me a second guys, bear with me here. 
Okay, so we are going to cook this, okay, for about an hour. So we're gonna do 30 minutes, um, and then after 30 minutes, we're going to take it out, and um, I'm gonna show you what to do next. So I'm gonna hit pause, and I will be back in 30 minutes, but for you, it'll be less than a second, okay? Okay, you guys, just one correction here. I didn't wanna to have to go back and do the whole video again. I know I said half a cup of water you put in, but it's one cup of water. Again, that will be in the recipe. So if you are watching the video and be like, she's only putting half a cup, I put one cup of water in, okay? Okay, so I'm back. So 30 minutes is about up. I'm gonna grab the pan out of the oven. Okay, I'm gonna place it right here on the stove, but I kinda want you guys to see what's going on. So let me grab just a little cloth to set it on so you guys have a better visual of uh, what's going on here. So I'm going to just put this right on here. Okay, so it doesn't say to do this if you look at the recipe on Oshi Glows. It doesn't say to do this, but I'll post this recipe to the way that I did it so that you um, don't forget what to do and you don't have to come back to this video every time. Okay, but the first thing you want to do is... We want to slide the spatula underneath the parchment, get it loosened up here, because we're going to flip this over. And actually, you know what? I think this is what I'm gonna do before I flip it over. So here's what I do um, that she doesn't do, is I cut them into squares um, before I put them back in the oven for the next 30 minutes because the very first time I did this, they got very crispy and when I tried to cut them in squares, they just broke apart everywhere and you want them to look pretty, right? So I'm gonna take a pizza cutter, okay? And just watch right here as I cut them into, you know, whatever shape floats your boat here, you guys. If you like squares, if you like rectangles, I'm gonna do some rectangles here, just cutting through, super easy. One more strip here, and then I'm gonna go right down the center. And that gives me a nice size cracker. And then just take it up and flip it over, okay? So flip, it'll be a little soft on top here, and then actually on both sides, but we're gonna cook it for another 30 minutes, so it will crisp up very nicely, okay? Easy peasy. Um, all right, so we're gonna take it back and we're gonna put it right back in the oven. And time it for another about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. So now once you bring it in there, I would say maybe after 20 minutes, just get an eye on it, feel it, see the texture, see if it feels good. Um, but again, we're gonna cook it for 30 minutes and we're gonna take it out and check it out. So I will be right back. Okay, so we're ready to take them out of the oven. I cooked another 30 minutes and I checked on them to make sure the texture was good. Like I said, I like them crispy. So, pull them out. Bring them up onto the stove. A little plate out, a little presentation. Nothing fancy here. Uh, if I can find my spatula, here we go. Okay, so here's one of the crackers. It's a light, might be a little bright, but I can flip it over. And I'm just gonna, can hear that. Did you hear that? Yeah, okay. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so I love hummus. I love hummus from Trader Joe's. I'm not advertising for Trader Joe's and they're not paying me. I just love Trader Joe's. So, let's try it. Let's make sure it tastes okay. I'm gonna give it a little dip. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So delicious. So, first and foremost, the greatest thing about this is, about these crackers, is that you're making it from scratch. You're making it on your own, so you know exactly what you put in to these crackers. You don't have to worry about any 
anybody else putting anything into it, worry what's going into it. These are high in fiber, they're high in protein, antioxidants, um, calcium from the sesame seeds, magnesium, copper, which is anti-inflammatory, vitamin E, um, it can help lower cholesterol, um, magnesium, which reduces, can reduce uh, migraines, lower the risk of heart attacks and strokes. I mean, health benefits are endless. They taste delicious. They're easy to make. Um, and you know what? I'm telling you, you will feel so good about the fact that you made something so delicious and so healthy for yourself. I promise. So if you have any questions about anything, you know where to reach me. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is just for the moment. I just said, you know what, what the heck? I'm just gonna do this video and see what happens. Um, and if you have any feedback for me, <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Only good, of course. No, but seriously, feedback would be great. And if you have not checked out my YouTube channel, Shima Flow Yoga, please check it out. Subscribe to my channel. There's so much more to come. And if you communicate with me, like this is about building community, about health and wellness and being the best that we can be and doing it all together and um, having successes and failures together and then just growing. So if you have um, anything you'd like to see, please let me know. I'm so open. I would love to hear from you and um, I can't wait to uh, do my next video on cooking. Okay. Have an awesome night or weekend or whenever you're watching this. Namaste.